everybody and welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. This is going to be a quick video. I just wanted to show you something that I found, something that's kind of hidden on the internet and I only found it on one website. It's stockcharts.com so I wanted to give them credit for this cool little, I don't know, just kind of a hidden thing. Uh, I have not found this feature on TradingView which I also like a lot. Um, or barchart.com, which I also like a lot. Uh, so anyway, if you want to check this out, I think it's worth it. And by the way, um, I'm going to put out a, another sponsored video pretty soon. So if you really want to support me, if you could just please click on any of the sponsored videos that I do and give it a thumbs up. And that's a great way to show your support for this channel. And that enables me to keep putting out all this content for you guys. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is a Netflix daily candlestick chart, just a normal candlestick chart. But check it out. You know how usually on under chart attributes, you just use what type? Well, candlesticks, duh, right? Candlesticks. But what if you went down, instead of candlesticks, if you went to candle volume? It's all one word, candle volume. And then hit update, and you get these different looking candlesticks. Look at that, some are fat, some are really skinny. What the heck is going on? Well, it kind of combines, you know how usually you have uh, volume bars at the bottom? Well, the bigger the volume bar would be, the more volume, right? Or the taller the volume bar would be, that means greater volume. But with the candle volume candles, you're combining not only the price action, you know, the, the uh, open and the close and the, the high and the low and all that good stuff. You know, you got the body and the wicks and all that. But you also have another factor integrated right into the candles, which is the volume. So instead of having volume bars that are high or not as high, indicating the volume, you know, how many shares were traded during that trading period that that day if it's a daily candlestick chart but also uh well or instead you've you've got it built into the the width of the candlesticks and so the wider the candlestick the more volume there was okay so you don't have to keep looking up at the candlestick and then down at the volume and up at the candlestick and down at the volume. it's all on the candlesticks i think that's pretty cool and by the way you can also if you want the volume bars at the bottom, you can. You see how see how it says volume off under candle volume type. You can change it to um, let's say separate, and then what that does is it still gives you those um, those volume bars. Notice that they're uh, wider and skinnier as well, and so of course the the taller ones are also going to be wider by definition right in terms of the uh, volume bars all right uh, or you can change it to uh, overlay which is kind of the same thing except they just kind of uh, put it yeah, at the bottom of the the price action chart and they make it kind of uh, not as bright looking okay so it's less distracting or you could just turn it off which is probably what I would do but it's totally your personal preference because you, you already have the volume here built into the candlestick width. I, I don't know if you need it again down here, but that's cool if you want it down there. Anyway, so why would you do this? Well, uh, it's a quicker and easier way to see the volume, which I think is important. Uh, and so it makes the candlesticks more meaningful if they're wide, like this one is wide and, and these ones are wide. Uh, because it, uh, a long red, well, not necessarily that long, but a, a red candle, um, might be more meaningful if it's wide also because that means it's downward price action and on heavy volume and you notice that after this heavy volume uh, red candle look what happens uh, it kept going down all right uh, or look what happened after these uh, high volume uh, you know green not not green on stockcharts.com but uh, white candles right uh, it kept going up so I'm not I'm not saying it's going to happen like that every time, but if you get a, a wide red candle or a wide green candle, uh, that could be more meaningful, okay? Or if there's a candle at a uh, you know support level or resistance level with heavy volume, if it's a fat candle, 
that could be more meaningful, could be more powerful. It's something to think about. And you could combine this with other indicators and again, uh, not have to look up and down at the volume. It's right there and it's very visual and it hits you right in the face. Wow, this is a, this is a fat candle. That, that might be important. That could be telling, that's the market telling you something with conviction because there's volume behind it, all right? So I just wanted to show that to you. I don't know if you use stockcharts.com or not. Uh, I am not being paid to make this video <laughs> by stockcharts.com or anybody. I'm just doing it because I want to show you something that's kind of interesting. And if, if you guys see this feature on any other uh, you know, charting platform or website, please let me know. Maybe it's on your broker's uh, trading platform. I don't know. But I just thought it's pretty cool. And I'd, I'd like to see uh, maybe tradingview.com or barchart.com or one of those also integrate these kinds of candles. Because I like different kinds of candles. I like the regular candles. I like the Heikinashi candles. Uh, I, I think it's pretty cool. Okay. So, uh, and again, uh, look out on my channel for a sponsored video coming soon. Uh, so if you'd like to click on that and just show your support by, uh, you know, giving it some views, that will encourage me to make more videos like this one. All right, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you again soon.